is that super loud for you guys? <laughs> oh yeah. So loud. Oh, really? That came across good. Well, good morning, guys. We're back with the Eagle Talk, I think is what we've kind of been going off name Ooh. for our podcast. <laughs> we've got a name. <laughs> a little mm-hmm. bit. We're still accepting name re- recommendations, though. But um, I'm Paige. I'm Skyler. And I'm Mr. Soselski. Yes. So I think you have like a... Yeah, I do. Just before we begin today, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Mr. Klein, Mr. Belil, our basketball teams. They had uh, last Friday on, on the 3rd of February, they had the name game, uh, Not About Me. Uh, and, and again, the, the purpose of running this particular game is, is showcasing our uh, relationship with the Hurley Children's Hospital. Uh, I, I, I believe if I... Uh, if I remember correctly, they raised about twenty three hundred dollars wow. uh, for new members of our Linden family. You know, the little kiddos that are struggling and you know working through some hurdles in their lives uh, in their families. And so, um, you know, they had uh, some participants here from the children's uh, the Hurley's Children's Hospital. So it was a pretty cool event, and I, I just think the way that uh, our high school kids responded. I mean, what a show of support! I mean, it mm-hmm. does it, it. It gives me goosebumps now. Uh, that night was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. So, so kudos and shout out to everybody involved in the name game. That was that was that was special. Yeah. On another topic today, <laughs> we're going to talk about snow days. Snow days. The fun decision that you get to make. <laughs> you know, before we begin, I got to tell you, I got to tell you when I when I was uh, when when I first became uh, interim superintendent. I remember it was like exciting the first snow day, you know, I got the call. I was like, oh, I can't yeah. wait to do this. Mm-hmm. You're up all night. You're watching everything. You're talking to people. And then, you know, you make the call. And then it was like even more stressful mm-hmm. because it's like, you know, all the logistics that go into that. And then, you know, how to reschedule everything that's happening that day. So I, I, re- I still to this day remember that first one. I was like, ah, I get to do it. And then I was like, oh, I had to do it. <laughs> Yeah, do you ever get nervous, like, if you make the wrong decision, like, do people get mad? Yeah, I, I don't know if people get mad, you know, I, I've never really had, uh, I'd say, somebody mad. I, I think what happens is it does become a little bit of a shock, depending yeah. on the, the conditions and, you know, what we know ahead of time and what we may know after the fact. Uh, so I think sometimes it's a shock, you know, let's be honest, uh, sometimes the calls are made uh, last minute. Yeah. Um, and so that doesn't, you know... That, that doesn't work for anybody. Uh, but the bottom line, you know, something I always rely on or I always go back to before I finally make that final call, you know, uh, if, if it keeps our kids safe, then again, I'd, I'd rather have a day off now and make it up in, in June uh, if it keeps people safe. And, and again, that's a, it's a tough decision. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Um, I've heard some theories on how you decide if we have a snow day or not. Do you want to <laughs> shoot? <laughs> well, I've heard that you just drive around. Well, that's <laughs> like <laughs> go around on the like dirt roads. Yeah, and like is that what you do? That's part of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like like for example, if if we know there's potential of weather coming in, you know, whether it be snow, ice. Yeah, we're uh, there's about three or four of us from Linden uh, that get up in the morning. Um, I don't know four o'clock ish. We're usually on the roads. Um, you know, the transportation director, uh, one, one of our maintenance crew, Dan Lamoth, Greg Vadas, um, and, and we just start, we have different areas of the district. We start driving and, and most of it is back roads. I'll be honest with you. Mm-hmm. You know, we kind of start there. Everybody's got a little route and we start communicating on the phone and, um, you know, kind of figuring out, you know, our buses, our, our student drivers, our parents, uh, you know, as far as getting, getting students to school. So yeah, it's it's true, and uh, I got my special <laughs> spots where I go and make sure you know, depending on my vehicle and, and the response I get from my vehicle, I'm I'm not gonna uh, tell you where those special <laughs> spots are, but but no, there's a couple spots that I hit uh, just to make sure, and uh, uh, they're usually about ninety nine percent. You know, if I can do it, I can do it, and we're good. If not, well, that's probably a good chance we're gonna have have a snow day. Yeah, it's usually like probably hit or miss. It, it is, it is. And, and, and there's a lot that goes into it. You know, we're, we're watching, uh, you know, the weather reports. Uh, you know, I think what's happened over the years is, uh, you know, just technology in general. So we have a much greater chance of, of seeing what those reports are before they get here. You know, what the weather's coming and how it's traveling and the snow and the amounts and the temperatures. Um, 
you know, so we, we go through that process. Uh, I'll be honest, we do chat with uh, other superintendents, you know, Fenton, Lake Fenton. Uh, we do talk a lot, and, and there's a reason for that. Uh, a lot of it is shared programming. You know, we have a lot of programs that we share with Fenton and Lake Fenton. Uh, and so the coordination of our students and logistics of getting students, you know, one school to the other, um, you know, with our skill center, uh, we talk with other superintendents in the county. Uh, just to see where everybody's at. Uh, we do have conversations with the Genesee County Road Commission at times. Uh, I've been known to call, uh, you know, Argentine police or Linden police at <laughs> four or five in the morning uh, to get reports. You know, I've got, uh, got some people that uh, we, we connect with uh, in the morning that may be out, uh, you know, as, as independent uh, snow plowers. You know, okay. people that, that plow different driveways or subdivisions. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, depending on the conditions, just to see you know, what, what, what they're experiencing. It's, uh, there's no exact science. There never has been. I don't know if there ever will be, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's not, uh, it's not easy. Um, in some cases, uh, you know, it's the night before that we start communicating, uh, really as superintendents and just to kind of see where everybody's at. Um, and then, you know, we, we start making independent decisions based on independent districts, you know, yeah. ultimately we'll make the decision for Linden regardless of what other people do. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I think you had a good question. Like, what, or do you want us to say what it was about the seniors? Oh, yeah. So, in terms of like having snow days to the point where like we have to add days on at the end of the year, what does that mean for us seniors? Like, do we still get out the same day or do we have to go those extra days as well? Well, it, you, there, there are some state laws that uh, <laughs> it require, uh, you know, students to have 180 days of, okay. of, of, uh, of school. Um, but again, depending on, on situations, the state allows six snow days, okay. you know, okay. through the Michigan compiled law, they, they basically allow six snow days. And then the state superintendent, Dr. Michael Rice, so he's in charge of the entire state of education, you know, as far as education, um, he has the ability to grant three more snow days okay. above and beyond the six. So as a, as a district, if we got to our six snow days and then we had whether it be snow days, um, any day off school. You know, we've had times where, uh, you know, we've had to cancel school because electricity's gone down, Yeah. you know, uh, or, you know, maybe there's a, another situation where we've had to cancel school. Mm-hmm. That, in theory, counts towards your six days. So it may not just be snow days. And then after you get to six, you have the ability to uh, appeal uh, to the state superintendent for up to three more. Okay. Um, I don't know if uh, if we've ever done that uh, based on the situation. I remember uh, a few years ago, <clears throat> my first or second, maybe third year superintendent, we had some situations in regards to snow and weather and different happenings across the state where the state superintendent, uh, I think he granted one additional day for everybody. Don't quote me on that. I mean, it was a long time ago, uh, but there was a situation where we didn't, we had to apply, but mm-hmm. as long as you apply, then you, you, you receive that additional day um so yeah in, in theory you get six days so if, as a senior if you miss a day you're still within you know the parameters to make sure that you get all your educational needs gotcha what's like your favorite thing to do when we have a snow day <laughs> i was just gonna ask you guys that <laughs> that's a good question um it, it all depends you know on the situation again as I mentioned earlier, when, when you call a snow day, you know, there's other pieces of logistics that you got to start thinking about. And that is, you know, any type of uh, student activity that had to be canceled, uh, maybe a pep rally, maybe a, uh, you know, you had his guest speaker coming in. Um, so then we start going through those uh, conversations with building principals and or teachers, depending on the situation. Uh, what does a makeup day look like? Uh, talk to community education, Debbie Brendel. Uh, our director of community ed down there to find out, you know, what events she has or hasn't going and we have to cancel those, what the makeup looks like. And that's typically why you'll see another phone call come across uh, that I make usually around noon, one o'clock on that snow day, mm-hmm. you know, to talk more about after school activities. Yeah. Um, because again, it literally takes us that time to kind of get a hold of everybody, find out what, what new plans are made uh, for the, the, the reschedule of the events. Um, so it's, it's not like uh well, I shouldn't say that because there probably has been days where I've sat around with my <laughs> coffee, <laughs> watching television. Uh, but but typically, you know, with the my little schedule in the morning, I always find my way back here at school, you know, to make the call and and do what we have to do. And from there, I'll just start, 
you know, uh, doing what I need to do. Eventually, yeah, we, we make it home to have a <laughs> cup of coffee and maybe watch TV. How about you guys? What do you like to do on a snow day? A whole lot of nothing. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Literally put a, nothing. Put a big dent in the couch? No. You guys don't get on to Google Classroom and get ahead of the game? I mean, there's... No. If I get an email, maybe no, I'll look no at it. No, you don't. I said maybe. <laughs> there's no way. I don't. Now, I, I, I've heard of some students, like, again, let's say it's a big snow day, you know, six inches of snow or whatever, yeah. we've got to cancel. Man, they're on the ski slopes. Yeah. Yeah. They, I've yeah. done that, yeah. I haven't been skiing yet this year, though, Uh-oh. so. That or the pond. Oh, going out doing a little skating? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't skate. Yeah, skating I outdoors fall. gets cold. It does, especially when there's snow, you got to shovel it <laughs> off. So It's looking good right now, though. It hasn't snowed a lot, and it's been really cold. Yeah, mm-hmm. how much ice is on the lakes? Probably like five, seven. Oh, five really? Seven, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't been out on the lake skating either. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Not yet. And so, and, and one thing, you know, I, I shouldn't bring this up, knock on wood. Um, you know, we've had a couple of snow days this year. Uh, typically February, believe it or not, seems mm-hmm. to be the month that we have uh, the majority of our snow days over the years. Um, and just, you know, weather patterns and things like that. I think the newest thing we've seen here in the last few years are these cold days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, for a cold day, what is, like, the temperature, like, the threshold that it has to be below? Yeah, there's there's no uh, rule. No rule? There's no, no, there's no rule. We, I, I do, we do use a guideline of negative, uh, negative 19, and that's kind of wind chill, real okay. feel, yeah. negative 19. So you take, you know, into consideration what the – the uh, ambient temperature is, and then you take into consideration, obviously, the wind gusts and things like that and, and get your wind chill temperature. And the reason uh, we use that negative 19 is, um, in theory, that's it, it takes about anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, probably about 30 minutes for frostbite to set in. Okay. You know, so from a school standpoint, we're talking about student safety. We're talking about making sure kids are in a good spot. You know, you may have, you know, if a bus is late, you got students that are out maybe mm-hmm. longer than 20, 30 minutes. Or as a driver, you know, you get stuck in a snowbank. Yeah. You yeah. know, you may be out there for 20, 30 minutes. Uh, so, again, that's part of the um, conversations we have, uh, you know, part of our decision-making process. And we get reports from the National Weather Service uh, usually in the mornings. Um, you know, again, with the weather, whether it be weather channel, weather bug, weather mm-hmm. AccuWeather, <laughs> Um, you know, local news, weather, ABC 12, you know, uh, we, um, we're, we're, we're tracking that. Yeah. We're Is there a that. certain weather app that you use? Well, the best one to use, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, I'm a, I'm an AccuWeather fan. Okay. Um, always have been. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. It's just probably one of the first ones <laughs> I downloaded on my phone. Um, uh, but, uh, Weatherbug, we actually have a Weatherbug station, um, oh, a subdivision over by Ace Hardware. In okay. downtown Linden, I can't remember. Yeah. It's call off top yeah. man. But no, there is a there is a station there. You know, some some uh, re, uh, what, what, different mechanical <laughs> uh, weather um, small satellites that they got. You know, up on uh, telephone poles and things like that. Um, so we do have a hub here in Linden uh, through Weatherbug. Nice. Um, okay. So that's probably our most accurate as far as our local weather. Um, whether it be temperatures, uh, you know, wind gusts, precipitation. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that you brought up the, what, like, degree it has to be, because I heard, like, that it had to be negative five and, like, schools canceled. No, no. It, so it, that was a lie. Yeah, well, <laughs> kind of. Let's, let's, call it, let's call it a myth. It was a myth, yeah. <laughs> it was um, a myth. No, and again, there's no rule. There's no rule. Yeah. And okay. so when we look at that, too, a lot of it, you know, it may top out at negative 19 with the real feel or the yeah. wind chill, uh, but it only might be for five or 10 minutes, you know? So then you're thinking, okay, what's the temperature going to be like, you know, an hour later or an hour before. Um, so again, there's no, uh, there's no silver, to, uh, silver, uh, there, there's no playbook, I guess is what I'm saying, especially in a cold day, in a cold day, you know, we're looking at all different type of, uh, uh, information, uh, including maybe what the weather was like the day before. Maybe we got a lot of rain or a lot of snow. Well, you start getting, you know, negative 15, negative 19 um, type temperatures. It's not just, uh, you know, how the body's going to respond with frostbite potentially, but also what are the road conditions? Yeah. You know, that snow starts melting, you know, 
uh, ice, or I'm sorry, salt that they put. I mean, I think the, the snow day is a, that was a good topic you guys came up with. You know, it happens every year and, mm-hmm. you know, there's, uh, I think there's excitement, right? Do you guys still wear the pajamas inside out and put the ice cubes and uh, flush them down the, the toilet and things like that? No, I just look to see if Mr. Schneider's wearing his belt and then. Oh, is that a sign? Oh, yeah. He's really? claims he's never been wrong. No kidding. That's all I have. No, I've got nothing. Me either. All right. Well, all right. well till next time. Yeah, for sure. Right? Thanks for joining us. No, thank you guys Again. very much. I appreciate this. Uh, keep it up. It's a, it's, I think it's a great thing. So. Of course. Do you want to end this off with your oh, eagles? Oh, I do. You know <laughs> okay. that. It's all yours. So everybody have a great day. And as always, go Eagles.